In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the best 15 brothers within the meta. Some big surprises in here. It's a really interesting meta. Let's jump right into it. And just quickly, make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. We've got a tier list coming on Friday. You don't want to miss out on that one. All right, guys, so jumping into the 15th best brother within the game right now. Probably the biggest surprise on this list. I've gone with Buzz. So Buzz might be controversial for some people, but I think people are just scared to admit that Buzz is one of the best brothers within this current meta. It's a really surprising one. It took a couple of days for the meta to develop, but I think because of a lot of nerfs to the tank counters, I think Buzz and a lot of other tanks are thriving in this meta. So I could honestly put him a lot higher on the rankings. Maybe in my tier list, I'll put him even higher, but I think he's incredibly strong. The main reason he's good is because once you connect those hooks onto people, there's not a lot of answers to it, right? Especially on certain game modes like Bruble, Gem Grab, Heist. He's so incredibly strong. As a last pick in even like the other game modes like Bouncy, Hot Zone, Knockout, he still might surprisingly be pretty good. And he's also a really strong counter to a lot of meta brothers like Cole, for example. So Buzz is definitely wrecking it in this meta. So next up, coming in at the 14th best brother within the game right now, we've gone with Chester. So Chester, I feel like I'm maybe overrating him just a little bit. He definitely has received a big nerf with the last set. Balance changes about four or five nerfs to really tone him down. I still think he's a bit of a strong brother in some game modes and a lot. Hot zone is definitely a strong brawler. A lot of the grassy maps as well, you can get some really good value out of Chester because of course, still when you start cycling through those sequences, it's going to deal a lot of damage and still all of his supers are pretty useful and really good except for the slowing circle one. I don't know, that's like the trashiest one, but if he actually got a buff to that super, then I feel like he's one of the best brawlers within the game. So next up coming in at number 13, we have Crow. So Crow still secretly a pretty strong brawler within this meta. His slow toxin gadget is still pretty bad beneficial to you and your teammates especially at countering tanks i think it's just a pretty safe pick on a lot of game modes especially like brawl it can be a safe pick because it counters a lot of the meta brawlers like max for example and those tankier brawlers gem grab is a really good option down the lane because once you get that super it just changes the game completely uh heist not played on too much hot zone can be really strong with the slows as well so overall i think crow's in a really good spot and definitely one of the harder brawlers to kill in the game so next up coming in at number 12 we have Jean. so Jean of course is a really strong brawler within this meta ever since they buffed the mythic gear basically they changed it from one tile in game to three tiles so that extra range pull really has helped him out it just feels like you pull people from across the map of course he's still got to get the pull which takes a little bit of a while uh, but if you're a good gene you can really make use of that of course the vision gear as well is a really strong gear specifically with gene it just makes him really overpowered on certain grassy maps like double switch for example he's really going to be able to scout out the map really easily and i feel like every single game mode except for probably hot zone and heist He's a really strong first pick because there's not really many true counters to Gene Albert. Next up, coming in as the 11th best brawler within the game right now, we have Grom. So Grom, even after the nerf, I think he's still an incredibly strong brawler. I actually end up banning Grom a lot of the times in my Pauli game, specifically if the enemy has a last pick. It's either banning Grom or a tank. So he's still really strong in specific game modes as well, like Knockout and Bounty. He's really, really strong. Definitely like the power pick within those game modes, but also as a last pick in so many different game modes and maps, he's a huge problem. So the projectile nerf didn't really do too much. Grom for me still packs a lot of punch. So now moving on to the 10 best brawlers within the game, starting off with Ruffs at number 10. So Ruffs is still an incredibly strong brawler within this meta. He's really good on certain game modes like Brubble, Gem Grab, and Heist. The main reason why he's so good is because of his super. His super is really nice, especially when you want to break open certain lanes you know like on super beach for example on crystal arcade you just need a couple of supers and then that's both lanes like literally completely opened up if you pair this with like a b who's extremely meta or any brawler that's good in the open roughs just such a good support brawler of course this super gives you really good buffs as well just overall roughs is a really punishing brawler within this meta so next up as the ninth best brawler within this meta we have gus so if you watch my streams over on twitch you'll know how much i love gus on my free to play account he's incredibly underrated by a lot of people within power league i think he's like the power pick in knockout and bounty he's so incredibly strong on those game modes in particular it only takes like three or four shots to build up your ghost and then once you get your ghost you can instantly press your gadget a lot of times you end up getting kills so quickly it helps interrupt people's supers as well so a good defensive mechanism and also his super is just really strong it allows you to go so aggressive yourself but also paired with aggro brawlers like Carl, for example you know you can pop a super on a Carl or a fang they can gadget or super in and it's just really hard 
for enemies to deal with that because an extra 4k health is really hard to deal with so for me gus is just a really strong ruler in the meta definitely underrated by a lot of people so next up coming in at the eighth best ruler within the game right now we have carl so carl definitely is that type of power pick in power league right now he's so strong into certain compositions sometimes he gets counted out a little bit easily so of course you gotta assess the composition that you're facing off against but overall i feel like it just gets value no matter what even if you're facing off against counters a lot of times you can try and avoid him with the gadget or just overall his super can win a lot of different matchups so carl is literally insane on every single gamer that's why he's so high could be even higher on the list you know he's really strong and bounty getting a first star with his gadget brubble making good plays with his gadget gem grab being able to gadget onto the gem gary again his super can just be so versatile heist as well with pressure just overall every single game mode cole can get so much value so next up as the seventh best brawler within the game right now we have otis so otis did receive a small nerf with the last set of balance changes reduced his damage a little bit and i think as time has gone on otis has got a little bit weaker so for me he's still a pretty decent brawler in most game modes like if you don't if you're a little bit scared of those tanky brawlers otis is definitely that brawler because not only can he counter those tanks he can also be pretty much good into everything so that's why he's that kind of go-to pick a lot of times in power league because there's not a lot of brawlers that fully counter otis but still i feel like for damage nerf did actually hit him a lot more than people see maybe you'll start to slip down the meta a little bit more but for now i still think he's that comfortable brawler within power league so now moving on to the sixth best brawler within the game right now we have ash so you might be wondering like where is ash just came from but for me ash in power league is such a dominant pick specifically in free game modes i wish he was a little bit more versatile because he is a tank pretty hard for tanks to be at the top of the meta of course unless you're buster from previous metas but anyways ash is definitely a really strong ruler so for me and bounty brubble and gem grab not even as a last pick anymore i think it's just such a strong pick overall you've got to be looking out for an ash literally whenever i'm playing against ash i feel like i have to it's like another buster basically in this meta i feel like the whole team has to focus on pinching an ash out because he just has so much pressure he actually has a secret amount of like really good damage like a couple of shots with the damage gear and it's like 5.6k with two shots it's insane he's got some decent range as well for me ash is an incredibly strong brawler in this meta so next up as the fifth best brawler within this meta we have b sub b instead of really strong brawler right now and just overall she's a really strong pick especially on certain game modes when you're scared of those tanky brawlers you can definitely go with a b i don't think there's a single game mode really or map where b isn't like usable on because you can easily pair her either with a wall breaker or as long as you've got some type of aggro to then uh, obviously fend off against her weaknesses like throwers i feel like b is always going to get value everywhere of course she's really strong with the 3k shots you know you get the damage gear popped you're going to be able to deal nearly 4k just everything about b is really strong right now it's pretty hard to fully counter a b in this meta okay so now moving on to the fourth best brawler within the meta right now we have gray so gray again you guys might be a little bit surprised by this one a lot of people think gray is really weak in the meta but i think within power league and within competitive gray is really really strong the main reason being is because of his supers so of course you've got a little uh, few drawbacks to gray he's pretty hard to hit shots consistently with but it's all about getting that first super so once you get the first super make sure you don't waste it and make sure you're cycling it pretty well you can make so many aggressive plays with a super teleporting through walls teleporting on those really weak brawlers which gray can easily two or three tap but not only that you can just pair him with so as i said so many aggressive brawlers you know tankier brawlers brawlers with really oppressive supers it's just great he's just a perfect synergy brawler and not only that his gadgets are still pretty good being able to break open a map of course can uh, make it so you can counter certain uh, other brawlers but for me gray is a really strong brawler within the meta specifically when you're talking about knockout pairing him with bots so now moving on to the third best brawler within this meta right now we have max max still continuing to thrive within this type of meta and for me she's always been like a top 10 brawler for such a long time especially since crow got that slow and toxic nerf she's thrived even more i don't really need to say too much about max because everyone knows how strong she is she's just a brawler that synergizes with every single uh, brawler within the game right now not a lot of true counters to it because she can easily wiggle her way out of so many different situations a really strong gadget a really good super that pairs well with everyone every single game mode and map i feel like you can easily go on max of course if you're really good at juking and dodging so overall i just think she's really versatile and definitely at the top of the rankings so now moving into the second best brawler within the meta right now we have penny so penny is a brawler which has always been again top 10 since her rework but for me she's definitely near the top of the rankings just because she's just insane everywhere when we're talking about power league and competitive 
She's literally like the number one pick everywhere because there really isn't any true counters to a penny because you think about it, maybe only throwers might counter her, but still, you'll have something in your composition to deal with throwers. So that's why a penny can be good. Of course, her turret far back can act as a fourth player. Her gadget as well, as long as you've got gadgets available, you're able just to destroy tanks. Like as a tank, you really can't go in on a penny because she'll literally one or two shot you. It's just insane. You've also got to start power to counter out the tanks. And just overall, every single game mode, every single map, Penny is definitely like a top five option within that map. And lastly, moving on to the best brawler in the game right now, we have Janet. So again, Janet hasn't been anywhere away from the meta ever since her introduction. She's definitely in the same brawler right now. So she's really good across every single game mode. Probably her weakest game mode is Bounty, Bounty and Heist. But again, she's just good going into everything. So you can always pick her in Power League. Got really strong or well, two really strong gadgets. One that can easily make you super aggressive. And then, of course, you've got the other one that stops people from regening their health and scouting the grass. So for me, she's just the ultimate pick in this meta. Definitely more so thriving because of the nerfs to bust. All right, guys, going to be it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know who you think should be in the top 15. As I said, a lot of these you can easily switch position of. I think it's one of the hardest ranking videos I've ever had to make. But of course, that's a good thing because there's no clear broken brawlers in this meta. Buster just missed out. I actually swapped that for Buzz, but I think Buster could probably still be a top 15 brawler. But anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.